Did you know that professionals spend 60% of their time just searching for information? And you know what makes this even worse? When your information is scattered across 20 different apps because you keep switching tools. Today I want to answer two questions I get all the time about app migration, especially for note-taking apps. And trust me, this will save you a lot of headaches and time. So let's have a look at the first question. Tom, when you move apps, do you leave the data there and simply start fresh? And here's my answer. Yes. Most of the time, yes. You want to hear something funny? I kept my Evernote subscription running for over three years after I stopped using it for 10 years. So I moved on to another tool like Roam Research and Notion back in the time. If you missed my other video where I dive deeper into my journey, you can watch it after this one. But the point here is, I kept Evernote active and paying for it for over three additional years. And you know how many times I opened it? Not once. Not a single time. I was just paying every month because of nostalgia and this fear of losing information. Finally, I canceled it in May this year. And guess what? Nothing bad happened. Look, I've been there. I used Evernote for years, then moved to Notion, then to other tools. And you know what I learned? Not all your old data is worth moving. Actually, most of it isn't. And our co-founder Paco Cantero, running four businesses in parallel, came to the same conclusions. We making these jokes about the subscriptions that we kept running for Evernote. That's where we came up with the clean slate migration strategy. Here's how it works. When you switch tools, you don't migrate everything. You only move what's relevant to you, what you're doing right now. And the clearer it is, what you're actually focusing on right now, the easier the decisions, what needs to move. Well. Here, many have a much deeper issue. It's the lack of understanding what matters right now that leads to migration anxiety like this. But getting those insights is also part of another video. So if you struggle with this much more fundamental problem, then let me know in the comments below. Happy to help to get you on top of this too. Now here's something really important when it comes to migrating your information to a new system. Ideas evolve over time. You evolve over time. Think about it. The solutions you developed three years ago, the way you approached problems back then, it might seem stupid now. Why? Because you grew as a person. You overcame these problems. You found better solutions. So when you look at your old notes, the path to the solution that you documented back then, it's outdated. If you face a similar problem today, you would approach it completely differently. You're on a different level of knowledge now. It's like keeping all your school notes of basic mathematics and learning reading for the case you'd need it again. Makes no sense, right? Well, in this context, it's very obvious. But trust me, it's no difference with notes from years ago. No matter how complex the problem you solved back then was, your current challenges are probably 10 times as complex. That's why starting on a blank slate is actually amazing. You start fresh with your current level of understanding. You don't clutter your new system with old, outdated thinking. And here's the worst part. Some people collect notes about news articles, current events, things that are no longer relevant at all. I stopped doing this completely. News from two years ago? Who cares? It's noise, not signal. Let me give you a real example. One of our members had over 10,000 notes in Evernote. You know how many he actually moved after going through the Inner Circle coaching program? Just a few evergreen notes. No complicated export-import processing needed. Copy-paste was enough. Straightforward. And he told us it was the best decision he made. It cleared up his ADHD brain and gave him mental clarity and saved so much time on top of it. Now, the second approach is what we at the Pebbles Movement call iterative migration. This is what I do when I move between PKM tools, like I did recently from Tana to Heptabase. I keep both tools running at the same time. Then I only move information when I actually need it. So if I need something from my old tool, I go get it and move it to the new one. But only then, not before. Because you cannot assume what you might need in the future. This way, you naturally filter out what's important. Because if you never need to look for it, why move it, right? This goes back to my experience with Evernote. 
As I mentioned, three years not touching any notes says a lot about the likelihood that you'll miss out on a crucial information. Now, about Apple Notes. Someone asked how to get thousands of notes out of Apple Notes. And here's the truth. Apple Notes uses some formats for their notes that's not so easy to bulk export. But here's what I recommend. Don't try to move everything. Apple Notes is great as what we call an intermediate tool. Use it for quick capture, then process the important stuff to your main system. So instead of migrating thousands of old nodes, start fresh with your new system. Keep Apple Notes for quick capture and move only what you need going forward. So here's what's really important. Each tool should have a clear purpose in your system. We call this the single source of truth. But it's key to understand that we don't mean the one app for everything but one single source of truth per information or action type. Yes, there are many different information types we are handling every day. Realizing what they are will help you to make much better decisions, where to place what, and more importantly, easily retrieve any type of information the moment you need it. For example, I used to use Evernote mainly for document storage with OCR, scanning my invoices and leveraging Evernote search to find it later easier. When I moved away, I didn't try to force my new PKM tool to do the same thing. Notion wasn't even able to search for PDF titles, so it's not practical to try to migrate it. Instead, Evernote got split into different tools based on information types. For example, daily meeting notes went into Rome Research and Dropbox became my new document storage because they also added the OCR capabilities that Evernote was unique for for such a long time. The point is though, don't try to make one tool do everything. Use the right tool for the right job. And please, stop tool hopping. It's a productivity killer. Commit to a tool for at least six months before you think about switching. Otherwise, you're just procrastinating. If you want to learn more about building a proper productivity system that actually works, then join our free newsletter or our membership, where Paco and I personally ensure that you'll get a productivity system up and running in no time, end to end. So information action both covered. We teach you tool agnostic concepts and workflows, ensuring you're never stuck with scattered information again. This way, you will no longer depend on the tool you use. Instead, you will learn to make the tool work for you. Remember, it's not about the tools. It's about the system. And sometimes starting fresh is the best thing you can do. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you up in the next one.